Today's topic of discussion is screw compressor. So in this view you can see a male rotor which is the driving rotor and the female rotor which is the driven rotor. This is the suction end and in this view you will not be able to see the discharge end. That's why another view is drawn which shows the suction as well as the delivery end. With that I have also made another view which is not required to be drawn during examination. Here I have shown the interaction between the male and female rotor. So the screw compressor is a type of dynamic compressor. Regarding the construction, screw compressor consists of two helically moving rotors. The male rotor consists of lobes. As you can see over here, there are four lobes. The female rotor has gullies here you can see six gullies okay and the male rotor is the driving rotor and female rotor is the driven rotor the four helical lobes of male rotor are engaged in the corresponding gullies of the female rotor now let us discuss regarding the working when the driving rotor rotates the housing nearest to the suction end gets opened and the air is filled. Now the air which is so trapped is moved actually as well as radially with the rotation of the rotors and gets compressed. So air now gets compressed until it reaches the delivery end. As the number of lobes of male rotor and the number of gullies of the female rotor are different. Therefore, the male rotor and the female rotor have different speeds. Now, regarding the advantages of screw compressor. Continuous and uniform flow of air. And this is less power consumption even at part load operation. It can be directly coupled to prime mover like electric motor it has low maintenance cost due to less number of moving parts so these were the advantages of screw compressor hope you like the video we will again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye